speaking for you. Amen. <laughs> Expound. But no preparation, but your preparation. Praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. About, all right. The outline of Ephesians. As with many of Paul's letters, there is a clear transition in the middle of the book of Ephesians. You know what? The first part, remember I told you, is about what God has done. Sa una kasayin yun na Ephesians, book of Ephesians, unang page, unang part, is about what God has done. And the second part is how to live in the light of that as followers of Christ. Ephesians describe or, or encourage the church, how the church matures to the full stature of Christ to impact the world. Not the world to impact us, but us to impact the world. Are you with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. There are three postures that describe how this body is spiritually mature, church receive and lives out God's blessing. That law. Ano yon? It says in Ephesians, first part, Ephesians 1, 3, seated. Say seated. Seated. or seated. 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 Ephesians 2, chapter 1 to 3. And I pick Ephesians 2, 6 says, He raised us up with Him and seated us with Him in the heavenly place. We, as He raised up and seated, we also seated with Him. And in the end, in the Passion Translation, He raised us up. Who raised us up? Jesus. Yeah. Alright? The, the Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is the spirit that raises up with him. He raises up with Christ, the exalted one. And as we ascended with him, ascended, descended. So as we ascended with him into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm, for we are now co-seated, co-seated as one with Christ. Isn't that beautiful? The word of God is the reality. See the revelation. I tell you, para ang nakaral sa Harvard University. But if you study in Harvard, it's only the knowledge that you can use the world. But the, the wisdom, the revelation coming from the Lord is, is spiritual. We don't you know that we are we are spiritual beings. We are spiritual beings. And God is a spiritual being. He created us. Amen? Amen. So he raises up. So cause seated as one with Christ. So oh, beautiful. As if you are seated beside him. Amen? Amen? Ephesians reveals our identity in Christ. Do you know who you are in Christ? Huh? Do you know who you are in Christ already? Yes. It also speak of the wealth. It also speak ng mga kayaman ng tinatanggap natin kay Kristo. They speak of the wealth we have received in Christ. Wealth is not just repairing for money. Wealth is everything the Lord is giving us. His life, our life. Amen? So, next is walk. Number two, first is sit. Then second, walk. Ephesians 4, 1. I 4, verses 1 to 6. Then nine. 
this is just a uh, uh, just a what do you this? I took from the from our uh, preaching, but this is something like introductory. Okay, I will just answering you to the entrance as we go and build, as we study Ephesians. Amen. In Ephesians, for one says, "I therefore a prisoner for the Lord." Urge you, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. People of God, you are called when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the Lord Jesus Christ who invited you? And you have the calling. Seek the calling. Hindi na tatapos yung tumanggap ako Kristo. Ako ay born again believer na. So, okay na. Hallelujah. We have grown. The Lord positioned us. The Lord separated us for the calling that God has given you or, 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 or appointed you. And the Lord gives you the gifts that, and the gifts that you need. To respond to that calling. Amen? Amen. When you say Amen, you are agreeing, agreeing with what I'm saying. If you don't, meaning you don't understand what I'm saying. You want me to speak Spanish? <laughs> or just I speak in tongues now? <laughs> Amen. amen. When you agree, say amen because you are not agreeing with me. You are agreeing with me. Yes, Lord. It's mine. It's me. I agree with your word. You are, you are communicating with the Lord when you say amen. Not just for me. But you encourage me. Amen. amen. So followers of Jesus are to walk. Say walk. Worthy of their calling. Knowing Christ, you are you don't you know you know the Holy Spirit that dwells in you. Now you only need daily in feeling of the Spirit, so that so that there's a presence and a power of God of the Holy Spirit, so that you will be able to do what the Lord wants you to do. Amen. So now, even though you are working of your calling, this is still the Holy Spirit. You need the infilling of the Holy Spirit to be worthy. Because we cannot. We cannot. Because when you do good, your, your aim is doing good, doing good. I so prahampakaba ipay. Alam mo.